of the embassy exam of the year 2019 in science. Question number one, complete the following statement. The mass is considered as space physical quantity while acceleration is considered as space physical quantity. The answer is mass is considered as scalar vector uh, scalar physical quantity scalar quantity while acceleration is considered as vector physical quantity number two the incident light ray which passes by the focus of a convex lens refract space while the incident light ray which passes by the optical center space the answer is the incident light ray which passes by the focus of a convex lens refracts parallel to the principal axis while the incident light ray which passes by the optical center passes without any refraction passes straight without any refraction number three starfish reproduce by space while Promethium reproduce by space. Starfish reproduces by regeneration, while Promethium, Promethium reproduce by binary fission. Give reason for the, each of the following. Number one, universe is in a state of continuous expansion. The answer is due to the separation between galaxies the separation between galaxies since the big bang until now number two the formed image by a convex mirror cannot be received on a screen the answer is because the formed image by a convex mirror uh, is not uh, cannot be received because it is virtual image virtual always virtual always virtual image of course it comes from the intersection of the extensions of the reflected light rays not the reflected ray rays but the extensions of the reflected rays second question write the scientific term that is expressed by each of the following sentences number one the point of connection of chromosomes chromatids together the answer is centromere number two the angle between incident light ray and the normal line at the point of incidence to the refracting surface the angle between incident light ray the answer here it is the angle of incidence the name of the light ray they have the same name of the angle so the these he will have here angle between incident light ray so the angle will be the angle of incidence number three the lens of actual path that a moving object takes from start of motion to its end the answer is the distance the distance the distance is the lens of actual path that the moving object takes from start motion to its end b compare between each pair of the following long side and short side in the term of reasons of occurrence one point only the reason of occurrence of long side and short side we know that the short side occur we start with the short side when we study this point, start always with the short side. It is preferable to start always with the short side. The short side occurs due to the increase in the diameter of the eyeball or the increase in the convexity of the eyeball uh, lens. The increase in the diameter of the eyeball. The eyeball is too long. The diameter is too long. Uh, or increase in the convexity in the lens eye lens so the image is formed uh, in uh, behind the retina uh, before sorry before the retina so 
the person cannot see the far object clearly. The long sight, the reason of occurrence decrease in the diameter of the eyeball or decrease in the convexity of the eye lens. So, so the image is formed, always formed behind the retina, so the image of the near objects are not clearly. Number two, the modern theory and the crossing star theory in the terms of the scientists who established this theory. Of course, we have to remember the name of these scientists. Remember the name of the scientists who discover or mention the theory, the three theories. We have three theories. If you remember, we have studied three theories according to the uh, origin of the solar system. You remember the first theory, which is called a nebular theory for Laplace. And the second theory, the crossing star theory, it was made by two scientists, Chamberlain and Moulton. And finally, the modern theory, it was made by uh, Fred Hoyle scientist. Remember the name of the scientist who established the theories of the origin of the solar system. You have to remember the names of these scientists. Okay. Third question, choose the correct answer of this uh, of those between brackets in the drawing the opposite figure in the opposite figure an object started motion from point A and stop at point C passing by point B so magnitude of the displacement equals space meter 30 or 40 or 50 or 70 meter so we connect the line segment AC to answer this question, we connect AC by uh, the pencil and we measure it uh, by uh, Pythagoras theory. Of course, you know it in geometry, how to calculate the root of uh, 30 power 2 plus 40 power 2. The root of this, it will be 50 meters. Okay. Number two, optical piece that for uh, from that forms an upright equal image to the body is the optical piece that make a bright equal a bright and equal of course it is a plane mirror only the plane mirror make a bright and equal image for the body The number of chromosomes in the gamete is space, the number of chromosomes in the somatic cell. In the gamete, of course, the number is half, half number of the somatic cell. What is meant by each of the following? The nebula. The nebula is a cloud of gases, which is very hot, from which the solar system originated. Number two, the contact lenses. The contact lenses are used instead of glasses, eyeglasses, to correct the vision defects. Correct the underlying words. Number one, galaxies consist of a group of planets. The answer is stars. Galaxies consist of a group of stars. If the focal length of a concave mirror equals 20 centimeter, so the radius of curvature will be equal what? five centimeter to correct this we know that the radius equal double of focal length so if the focal length was 20 the radius will be 40 centimeter the mitotic cell division occurs in skin cell meiotic cell division occurs in skin cell of course skin is uh, somatic cells but meiotic meiotic division occurs in the reproductive organs or in the Tests may be or the ovaries. Meiotic occur in reproductive cells. The answer is reproductive cells. Mention one important for one or one use of each of the following. The convex mirror. The convex mirror, we use it at the side of the cars. The side mirror in the cars to see the, the cars behind. The car driver can see the cars behind. It make a, a minimized image for the street behind the car driver. Number two, nucleic acid DNA. 
Nucleic acid DNA carries the genetic material in the in the form of genes, uh, which is responsible for appearance of hereditary traits. Thank you, everybody.